The situation in the Kursk region is difficult, but the defense forces continue to put pressure on the enemy, said Pavel Roslak, commander of the 80th Separate Airborne Assault Galician Brigade. During the telethon, the colonel outlined the level of training of Russian forces and spoke about the best motivation for Ukrainian fighters. The situation is difficult, but under control. We still have the upper hand, we are putting pressure on the enemy and inflicting significant losses on him, he emphasized. The military man noted that the surprise effect at the beginning of the operation allowed a large number of Russians to be captured. Their reconnaissance did not work, it did not detect the concentration of Ukrainian armed forces units. Thanks to good planning, high quality execution, our reconnaissance, and fire maneuver, we were able to surround them and capture them, Roslak emphasized. The colonel also said that this was possible thanks to the good training of the Ukrainian units. We are better trained, units of the airborne assault troops. And there were conscripts, border guards, marines. And the level of training is different. The border guards and conscripts are lower, and some put up serious resistance. This is the 810th Marine Brigade of Russia, we must give them credit, he said. Roslak added that later the Russians surrendered in smaller groups. According to him, the Ukrainian fighters are strengthened by the successes they achieve in battle. This is a brigade that has been fighting for 10 years. We have a strong, close-knit team of specialists. In war, as I tell the soldiers, everything is simple, you are either a predator or prey. Galician lions are alpha predators, so everything is simple here, the colonel noted. Since the start of the Ukraine war in February 2022, Putin's inability to protect the Russian population has been shown time and again. Numerous towns in Russia, including Moscow, have been subject to drone attacks. In June 2023, Wagner Group chief Yevgeny Prigozhin led a short-lived mutiny that saw rebel troops turn from Ukraine and march through Russian towns, causing casualties. Perhaps most humiliating for Putin has been Ukraine's speedy and sustained incursion into Russia's Kursk region. The Ukrainian advance is the most serious challenge to Putin's narrative of the war since the invasion began. It also risks making the Russian leader look vulnerable and weak.